Good morning. Ah. Very curious how everybody is doing. So good morning. My name's Elliot, if you don't already know. I'm streaming on multiple platforms at the moment. Currently five channels, a personal Facebook page, a, a my Euro Kiwi Boy page on Facebook as well. Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. This will be available later on the All Irrelevant Topics podcast on all of the podcast platforms. Enjoy, join me while I work and just chill, chat, and talk about how this chat GPT function is blowing the minds of everyone around the world. And obviously there are a lot of people who are very excited for this and some that are very skeptical or worried because naturally you know what's going to happen they're going to just you know figure it out that we are irrelevant so to speak and uh yeah so in the background here we have some pink leds because it gives this i got a setting on my uh led led app that shows me a scene and this is supposedly the sweet scene and I don't know why it's a sweet scene because it's purple it wouldn't be red or more orange but yeah so if you read quite low to the bottom of the description there you will see that it's also chatting about other stuff and not just this chat software this chatbot software so yeah Let me know where you're watching from or listening in this case if it's in the future. But yeah, the general consensus from this uh, chatbot is insane. Genuinely insane. I love it. It's creating descriptions for me, writing the new codes. Wow. It's... I, I think that even these website page builders will kind of lose their, what do you call it, unique selling points if, you, if people start to figure out that you can actually just write it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's going to definitely assist and aid with a lot of jobs and create new ones. I don't think it's going to make any jobs currently obsolete, but it's going in the right direction for... Well, I don't know. This <laughs> insane. Before you ask, this is not a tea. It is a coffee with a bit of milk, but I think it's extremely watered down. So, yeah. How are you all doing today? Hope you are having a lovely afternoon, good, a lovely morning or evening. Some people have said I have a soothing voice. Some people have said I have an annoying grating voice. I don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. One of those things. I can't change my voice, so I do apologize. Yes, I do hope that uh, things in the world start to peak up. Pick up? Peak up? Peak up? <laughs> I forgot to speak. <laughs> See, I'll try and multitask the best I can to chat and work at the same time. But if I start to get focused on one thing, I d I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I should sometimes just focus on one thing more importantly rather than anything in particular. So, yeah. But yeah, I've got some uh, chatbots running, so hopefully you guys will be able to interact with me on the fly because yeah I don't want to be looking at the camera the entire time because that's just you know is a quite a bright light behind it and it will well it's really early and it's quite dark in the room so it might blind me <laughs> I was deciding whether or not to shave but I don't know it's like I have this weird thing with my facial hair that it goes from okay 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 bum fluff so I have a small window where it looks nice and it is manageable and then it f 
falls off the deep end and I have to shave it all off for it to look nice. I mean, I wanted to buy some of that, um, you know, special beard grooming and everything like that with that little roller, but there's no point if you got patches because I don't have a nice full, I am so jealous of the people who can just grow a nice full beard and yeah, around Movember or Christmas time, all the people with perfect beards and there's me with my little patchy job. Oh, it's always good fun trying to figure out why. Well, I think I broke my stream now because it's sending data to all the Facebooks and Twitter and Twitch, but it's not sending it to YouTube. I, I broke it again. I keep playing around with settings every time, and every time I do, I don't think it can handle uh, 4K, so it will kind of descale it down to 1080p or 720p, and then it's just like, nope, I don't want to do this. But hey, I guess I just have to just keep trying. I mean, right now it could be sending it. I just don't know. But hey. It's got a bunch of upcoming streams right now. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. It's all scheduled, but I don't know why. It should be playing right now. It's created an event. And I broke it. <laughs> cool. Once again prevailed so what music are you listening to if you are listening to music I mean right now you listen to me if you're here but if not what do you normally like to listen to when you first wake up do you listen to music do you have a routine what are your routines like because I have a very straight routine get up as soon as I have my alarm or if I naturally wake up, s get up, do the morning stuff and then head off to the gym. And by the time I, I'm back, it's time for me to start work. And yeah, it's uh, fantastic getting that workout done in the day. I'm currently on a 10,000 meter rowing a day and it is pretty brutal for the first week it hurt a lot uh, you get really tight uh, gluteal muscles I believe if, that, if I've either I'm doing it incorrectly or I don't know but I've noticed a marked increase with the speed I can go from when I started at 24 strokes a minute to now almost 40 strokes a minute when I'm really pushing it so I can it also it's a really good fat burner I'd say as well it's a full body workout with a full um, for the full 50 45 to 50 minutes of the st of the row it would be about 600 700 calories as I do have a chest strap monitor which connects with the fuck the rowing Machine. I was going to call it apparatus, but apparatus is not the correct term. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I can check the stream simultaneously whilst I'm doing this. Because I've got it through Restream on the dashboard. But it seems to get stuck. I've got excellent stream settings right now. No backup streams, so if it drops, sorry. Bye-bye. It's been fun chatting. I don't know why it's having an issue with that, though. I should create a website using chat GPT and build a website, get a host, and embed the stream just on there. Because, I mean, you know, we've got some photography prints, got some, you know, footage, drone footage. Why not? I mean... There's no harm in it, I guess. I mean, I don't talk about super controversial topics or I don't try and step on toes purely because there's no point in arguing with keyboard warriors. And if, you argue, if you're going to argue with me now, then you're definitely a keyboard warrior, for sure. Chugga, 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 chugga. I've been trying to sing Scandinavian songs and I cannot do it because I can barely read the... Uh, lyrics. So there's the song Bar Barn Domen 2021 by Dr. Disco, Lille Saus, and Freda Blosted. I don't even know how to pronounce the 
the A with the E combined. Blonsted. Blonsted. Ble. <laughs> Blonsted. Oh. A few people have told me I should be a radio host because I have that kind of radio vibe. But I can't be bothered dealing with the radio because you just play the same songs on repeat daily. And when you've heard, I don't know, the same song nine times in one day is either going to get in your head and you're going to be like, yay, or you're going to absolutely hate it and you never want to hear it again. But then if you're the radio host, you're going to have to keep playing it and you're going to just get so tired of it. And coming from New Zealand, I do miss George FM or ZM when they just talk absolute crap and have so much fun while doing it. So when you're alone having a conversation with yourself, you could look like a crazy person, but if you're doing it to a camera, so to speak, you're not looking less crazy than if you were to be doing it, just talking. If you saw me sitting down in a park, just, you know, chatting just to the air, you'd think I was nuts. But because there's a camera involved, it's like, oh, I'm doing something else. <laughs> I'm actually engaging with a community. But honestly, I've sat on top of a mountain and just chilled and spoke to myself, you know, one of those introspective talks but with a reason you know sometimes when you're up there just alone with your thoughts i remember climbing up in the morning and having a sunset just and the only thing i could hear was the wind just blowing past me and it was not even strong wind but i i could hear nothing there was no noise there was no animal noise there was no how would you put it? No distractions. And it's insane that people can't detach from reality. Like I personally love hiking by myself because when I got, I grew up in New Zealand with where you go for a hike and you'll see no one. If you go to Fjordland or a non touristy destination, you will see no one for days. And luckily in New Zealand, there's no animals that can kill you. I mean, there's some pretty scary looking things, but not like Australia where everything can kill you. So, uh, yeah, I know that like I, being in Poland, you can go down to Rucha in, in Krakow and just see a bunch of wild boars crossing the street, just mind their own business. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm, I've got to get across, so I'm getting across. And they're supposedly quite dangerous. I mean, I personally haven't had any interactions or run-ins run with them because I'm not normally around Aruchai area at three in the morning. But you see some occasional posts about them and... Yeah. Excuse me for the coughing. I'm still recovering from a little bit of a sickness I, I gathered whilst I was in Cyprus. 20 degrees and I got a cold, not COVID. I got an actual common cold. And I think that all my COVIDs I had, this was worse because I got over COVID really quickly three times. And it's now officially a week and I'm still blowing chunks out my nose. And it is so annoying because it'll fill up and then you try and, and you try and empty it and then it just fills up again and just repeat all day. And does anyone, does anyone know any way to make this go faster? Because I personally would really like to know because I want to get back to 100% health. Obviously, I'm taking multivitamins A to Z, extra vitamin C to, you know, boost my immune system. But this is just a time thing and it's driving me nuts because, you know, you can obviously follow standard things of rest and recuperation. But you got, you know, life. Life's in the way. I can't just go chill in a forest. I don't have that much money <laughs> to just go do nothing forever. That would be nice, though. But I wouldn't trust satellite internet just yet. So can't live off the grid fully yet. Facebook won't allow you to integrate comments. So kudos to Facebook. So I can see it on my s past streams. And you can't boost or anything. At least it has completed the 
description properly this time. I guess I'm just a plonker who didn't set it up properly last time. And supposedly it's it's going to show my um, my link tree where everything you can go to TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, just basically all the social media links. It just compiled it into one and made it so much easier. But hey, I guess I just never set it up properly, and now I have, and I have. broken my YouTube. I do this every single time. Start sending us your video from your streaming software to go live. I am streaming on four other platforms. Why are you having a problem? Mm. Anybody else with more technical knowledge than I do? Please help. Stream health is at... Did I? Is it because I opened an additional uh, stream? Duplicate stream key. Ah... Because I created two events. Oh, gosh. Oh. Damn, I'm not very smart. There is the stream key. Now I wonder if that's going to... Oh, man, I just changed the stream key. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh no, I see what I've done. <sighs> Great. Okay, so I'm going to remove this scheduled. Oh, I can leave that screen. And I want to remove that stream key. And integrate with the first stream. Uh, right, so because it's 4K, low latency doesn't work. Okay, that's something new. Will that work now? I don't know, maybe. I wonder how it's looking like on Twitch. Hi, Twitch. Twitch users, Twitch. <laughs> what do you call them? Followers. Can also manage my stream live. I think there's too much empty space here. I don't know what to do with this. Just looking into the air. <laughs> wow. At least, at least the streaming uh, bitrate is fine. It's currently an 18 minute session and YouTube is still struggling. Man, I'm disappointed. Every time. <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. Okay, so I've changed the latency now to the latest stream key. Will that change anything? I think it's too late. Okay, I'm going to check the latest stream keys and I'm going to start it at... So I've just turned off YouTube and it's going to give me an additional stream key. Right now I have one, two, three, four stream keys beginning at 5 a.m. and beginning at ending at 6. Let's see what happens now if I turn it back on and if it gives me an additional stream key now. Well, I will reload the page. Where's Big E? He's so good at this. There is the additional one. There's the stream key. Okay, it should be seen in the data now. I've got this, this stream key set up with a normal latency because it's 4K. Well, I hope it's 4K. All right. So it's showing me 18 minutes live on Twitch, but it's 16 through my encoder. Sweet. Anyway, I'll just have to obviously have to upload this as a video on demand, I guess. So anyone who cares about it. 
so have you used this chat GP GPT software? Because as I'm un under the impression at the moment, it's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, one billion parameters for the ja chat GPT-3. And in February 2023, supposedly is a chat GPT-4. And that has 70 trillion parameters. So it is going to be even more mind blowing. But chat GPT-3, chat GPT-3 is not connected to the internet, so it cannot scrape data. It's got data up to 2021, which is a tiny bit outdated as a lot's happened in the past year. So we're very curious to see what, um, if, if they're going to be do, uh, issuing new updates or new versions of the software as each year rolls around and it gets smarter and smarter, or if it's internet cap capable, or if governments are blocking the use of it for whatever reason, whether it be privacy or security reasons. Nah, I broke YouTube. <laughs> Dang. So yeah, I remember the first time I went live on Twitch, I <laughs> thought I was talking to one person the whole time and it turns out it was just the, the, Twitter, the Twitch bot that I was talking to and I was like, oh look, and I, have to I actually have to upload the video on demand, the clip from it because it's just me walking around thinking I'm talking to somebody and it's not, it's just me talking to myself to myself, so to speak, because the bot was basically me. <laughs> and I felt like a complete nincompoop. But hey, <laughs> we all make mistakes, right? I think it's too early for people who follow me, because people are all over the world, but majority of them are European. And it's 7 a.m. in Poland, so it's 6 a.m. in the UK. Well, around about that. Right, I'll just keep the latest stream key, and I think that's me done for YouTube this morning. I give up because I broke it. <laughs> it's scheduled, but now it's not scheduled because it's already past the time. But okay. Ah. <sighs> But one thing I can do is, oh, I can't share it because <laughs> my phone is the camera. Smart, smart man. I can edit the live audience. He has no audience. <laughs> Funny. Only followers will be able to leave comments. People don't leave comments anyway on my stuff. Even if, no matter how many times that people say, ah, uh, oh, we recommend that you use a resolution of 1920 by 1080 or lower. The current resolution for the stream is higher than recommended and may cause the stream to fail. So you're not allowed to stream in 4K. I think that's m might be why. I'm having an issue with YouTube because that would be the only thing I changed was that. Oh well. <laughs> well, oh well. Whoopsie. <sighs> People accidentally sharing their stream keys live. And then getting hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to do that. Just copy the link.
I don't know about you, but Mac and Messenger app, every time I open it, every single day, new update, restart. Like, do they update it every single day? Oh my gosh. And I have to keep turning off notifications every time because it doesn't recognize or remember my preferences every time it updates. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> oh, well. And if before you ask, no, I'm not on anything. I'm just naturally always this smiley, even though, but it is very snowy outside. There's at least 15 centimeters of fresh snow. So nice. So nice. I wonder if anybody's been able to hear uh, my music. It's been Scandinavian the entire time. And again, the chat bubbles from Messenger. I don't want the chat bubbles, but every single time. Man, I turn them off. Are you going to do this every single time you update? Turn off the bubbles. Thank you. Remember this preference now, please. Messenger, please remember this preference. I already turned it off. Don't remind me. Thank you. I've also been looking at the anchor projectors. Obviously, it's a wish list item, not a, a must have or a need, but there's the Nebula and the, it's the Capsule 3. And I watched on Unbox Therapy with Mr. Lewis uh, for, excuse me, the, oh gosh, for the actual the best one because one is battery powered and one is for like st just stationary and it is 4k with 2000 nits brightness which is really bright on this on a back backdrop so if there's ambient light as he mentioned the comparison is like when you put them side by side it's uh, very apparent the difference in price from like four hundred dollars to two thousand dollars i mean personally if money's no object for you then it's no problem no brainer to go with the it's a no pr no brainer at all to go with the more expensive one but i'm traveling a lot so I, it's the size of a drink bottle let me just get the name of it uh, anchor projectors so there's the app Anchor Nebula Capsule 2, and then there is the Anchor, Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. There's so many. Oh, the, the Nebula range is more. So the Capsule 2 is what he was um, comparing, and I believe it was the Mars 2 Pro. Okay, 3K in Polish is what there. And the Okay, so C Nebula, is that really by Anchor or is it by Nebula? Oh, they've featured Unbox Therapies, yeah, on the home screen of their, yeah, they definitely paid him a hefty, hefty sum to get it uh, nice and set up. Okay, so Jerry Rig Everything reviewed it, and Jonathan Morrison, TLD. Three big, three big channels. But I was looking at, yeah, so the, there is one, two, three, four, five. There's five models they have right now. And just comparing what he had done, there's the Go Anywhere series and the Around the Home. So depending if you are more home-based or... Uh, traveler, travel oriented. Capsule 3 laser and the go anywhere. Okay, so there's the capsule 1, capsule 2, and capsule 3. And the Mars 2 is also portable. 
Okay. And around the home is the Cosmos Laser 4K. That's the one he was reviewing. He didn't review the Mars 2 Pro, but the Mars 2 Pro looks wicked. That's a, that's a beast in itself. It's not very portable, but it's definitely capsule. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Capsule Max, Apollo, Solar Portable, Astro. Capsule 3 Laser. Capsule obviously, the latest one is the Capsule 3 Laser. Displaying 300 isolumens of brightness in 1080p. It only weighs uh, a kilo. Can have you got two and a half hours of video playback with the 52 watt hour built in battery? Budget's quite big. Uh, cinephiles and gamers have an abundance of options with Android TV 11. You can download Netflix and play Netflix from your phone with the Nebula Connect app, so like AirPlay. And there's an 8 watt Dolby digital speaker built in with high fidelity sound. It's 800 US dollars. And how much is that in my currency? Probably a lot. 800. Yeah, 3.5K. Okay, not too bad. But super duper portable. So, yeah. Looks like a lot of people have bought it and reviewed it. I just see it more of like a novelty at the moment for me because it's not... Um, I don't know. I'm not spending that much time out in the wilderness by myself and watching stuff at the moment. So, uh, definitely, definitely on the wish list, but not a priority, so to speak. Well... It's about that time. It's been half an hour. So, thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed or following, you know what to do. If you like it, thumbs up and all of that jazz. Until the next time, see ya.